Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stick with it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a place to settle down. Allow it to relax into the breath. All too often we're perched here on the breath, ready to spring off someplace else. And there's no real sense of ease. But think of your awareness melting into the breath, and the breath melting into the body. And just hold that thought in mind and allow things to happen. There's so much that we don't allow to happen, so many good things we don't allow to happen inside. We cost ourselves a lot of unnecessary suffering. Because if you can have this sense of a stable center inside, you can deal with a lot of things outside that otherwise you wouldn't be able to take. And you can deal with a lot of the issues that come up in the mind itself, because a lot of, the, a lot of those are fueled by a sense of dis-ease. A little sense of dis-ease here, and you know, people can create wars over dis-ease. The world would be a much better place if everybody could breathe properly. That way, when there is a sense of dis-ease arising in the mind, well, you've got another spot in the mind that's it's comfortable, it's at ease. And it can look at the disease and dissociate itself from it and say, okay, that, that's there. We're not denying that it's there, but it doesn't have to take over the mind. It doesn't have to be in charge. This way you change the balance of power inside. So the good qualities can be in the ascendant. When they talk about the faculties of conviction and persistence, mindfulness, concentration, and discernment, the word faculty, indriya, comes from the word inda, which is basically the same name of the king of the gods. These are qualities that you want to have in charge. You want to have them as the kings and queens in your mind, rather than letting greed, aversion, and delusion take over the power. So try to make these good qualities strong. Give them whatever assistance they need as you work with the breath, and you'll find that life becomes a lot different. The balance of power has changed, and it's changed for the better.